Guten Tag. Today we're going to talk about the critical German verbs of haben und sein. Haben means to have in German, and sein in German is the English equivalent of to be. So over here on the left I have my pronouns. Uh, just to review, ich is I. Uh, certain parts uh, this is pronounced differently. Du, you, or the informal you in English. We only have one form of you to address uh, people, but in German, as well as some other European languages, you have a, both an informal you and a formal you. This is the informal, du. Er means he, Z means she, and S means it, and for purposes of conjugation, these are grouped together, as they all have the same conjugation of the verb. In other words, he has is er hat, and she has is sie hat, the verb does not change. Wir is we, ihr is you all, and uh, sie and Z here, these uh, mean, this Z with the capitalized S means the formal U. So again, we have the informal U do, and the Z is the formal U, and we'll talk more about how to separate those. And then Z here meaning they. So Z is a little bit confusing, you might say, oh, that's confusing, but uh, they actually mean, in this case, she, you polite, and they. So, to review the conjugations, ich habe, uh, du hast, er hat, wir haben, ihr habt, and sie haben. So, to say I have, ich habe, you have, du hast, he has, er hat, we have, wir haben, you, you all have, ihr habt, and you polite have, sie haben. Sein is to be. Uh, of course, in English, these conjugations are I am, you are, he is, we are, you all are, and they are. So basically, in English, there is not so many variations. However, in English, uh, rather in German, these go ich bin, I am, du bist, you are, er ist, he is, wir sind, we are, Ihr seid, you all are, and sie sind, you are polite. So, uh, danke und das war alles.